A few years back, I paid a visit to Dearborn, Michigan, a city outside of Detroit that's home to the country's largest Arab population. During my visit, I sat down with an influential local imam who told me that he condemned al-Qaeda. But when I asked him about Hamas and Hezbollah, he denied that they were terrorist groups and refused to condemn them. I then interviewed another prominent local Muslim, a guy named Osama Sablani. He publishes the country's largest Arab-American newspaper. Here's how Sablani responded when I asked him if Hamas and Hezbollah were terrorist groups. Are they a terrorist group? Hezbollah? No, they are not terrorists. Absolutely not. They are they a are, terrorist group. No, they are freedom fighters. Okay. What about Hamas? Freedom fighters as well. Translation, Al-Qaeda crosses the line. But Hamas and Hezbollah, well, they mainly blow up Israeli Jews, so they're perfectly okay. Now, both of these men, incredibly, are considered by some in the U.S. government to be moderates. I'm not kidding. But they fail miserably my moderate Muslim test, which is, do you recognize Israel's right to exist? Now, if you ask that question of a Muslim leader and you don't get an automatic yes answer, don't even waste your time. Because it's real simple. No Israel, no moderate.